I'm John Ross. I'm a physician here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I did the first uh, commercial implant of the Hero device back in 2008. And since that time, I guess I've put in as many of those as anybody in the world. The results in the, in the HERO device are, are really quite good from the type of patients that we're using the HERO device in. These are usually extraordinarily high risk patients. They've usually had even five, six, or seven accesses. Their total catheter contact time has been very, very long, and that's what causes the pathology in the chest. So many of the patients that we're putting HEROES in now really only have one other option, and that's to have a long-term catheter, which has a far greater mortality and morbidity than having a running blood access. This is where the HERO fits in. The HERO is still there because the pathology is still there. The patients with the amount of central stenosis seems to be increasing more and more and more. During the fistula first arena that started back in about 2001 or so, in our effort to do an amazing thing to establish an extraordinarily high fistula rate, one of the untoward consequences, in my opinion, was that catheters were staying in the chest too long. The total catheter contact time was so long that we developed the stenosis problem. We still have the results of that happening to these patients now. Therefore, we still have that indication again, the indication of occluded veins in the chest, unobstructed blood cannot get to the right atrium, we need the hero. We really don't have another predicate device.